Sydney. We wanted to begin by introducing you and then welcoming you to the Whitman College Tea Room called the Chikurakken. Welcome. Hi, everyone. This is Keiko Hara of the Mukanga Project Space. Keiko and I began our water dreams in 2014. That is to say, we started to plan an exhibit called Abstract American Mokuhanga, which we exhibited at Whitman College. Then with the encouragement of people like Karen Kunk, Hiroki Morinoue, Keiko Kadota, April Balmer, and Hiroki Satake, we started to sponsor various Mokuhanga events at the college. Then Mark Anderson at the Foundry Gallery and uh, urged us, do more, spread the dream wider and broader. So in 2016, we organized our first workshop, Mokuhanga workshop at Whitman College. And we asked Yasu Shibata to join us. We didn't think he'd come, but to our delight, and our surprise, Shibata Sensei agreed. Mr. Shibata produced a collaborative art, uh, Mokanga Prince, with an uh, amazing artist, like a Chuck Cross, Frank, uh, Helen Frankie Thor, and others, uh, but also. He produced his own very special quality of uh, Mokanga print, which is really um, focused on the water-based pigmentation by using deduction of uh, uh, carving wood block and uh, this is just the kind of a beautiful uh, on the water based Mokanga uh, can create such an amazing the quality of colors. Shibata Sensei was really amazing also as a teacher. Uh, we only had a small classroom available at the time and he used that space so well, uh, and that resulted in 14 wonderful Mokuhanga prints that we framed and exhibited. We also, um, thanks to Mark Anderson, um, we were able to invite uh, Yabe Keishu from Kyoto, uh, Sogetsu uh, School of Flower, along with a former uh, Whitman College student, Shaughnessy Pierce. And uh, uh, Yabe Sensei and her students came and transformed the um, gallery uh, at the foundry with, with flowers that would accompany the work by Shibata Sensei. Uh, in addition, um, uh, a calligraphy master uh, from Seattle, uh, Yoshiasu Fuji, uh, provided not only e um, examples of his work, but demonstrated to uh, uh, people who visited, uh, as you can see, uh, with a huge brush, uh, his um, uh, enthusiastic, energetic, and powerful uh, calligraphy style. Then in the blink of an eye, we moved to our second uh, uh, Mokuhanga um, uh, workshop. Uh, and this time we were just tickled when uh, Kitabura Sensei uh, agreed to join us in Walla Walla. And uh, his uh, carving skills are legendary, but more importantly, his enthusiasm uh, as he introduced participants um, with close up and personal lessons was uh, an amazing uh, sight to see. Especially his uh, very highly 
accomplished sharpening tools and also carving uh, method, which he really kind of invented his own ways. And he is uh, um, introduced those uh, qualities to our participant. Here you can see uh, Kitamura Sensei. Uh, we had an exhibit of uh, Mokuhanga um, uh, prints done at the first workshop. Uh, and this was uh, shown in the Breezeway Gallery. And uh, Kitamura Sensei uh, is um, um, uh, looking at those uh, right now in this, in this uh, sh slide. When we invited Kitamura Sensei, we were able to uh, have the uh, workshop right next to the tea room that you see. Um, and this tea room was uh, um, dedicated in 2010. And uh, just a couple of years ago, it was, uh, we celebrated our 10 year uh, anniversary. Uh, so um, every year uh, with the Mokuhanga um, project space, and with these workshops, we also do uh, tea. Uh, we also introduce uh, tea. And um, here's Kitamura Sensei taking photos and people serving and receiving tea. One of the things that we have done with the, uh, this project space is also uh, created uh, opportunities for artists to do addition work. And Keiko? This is uh, uh, the first uh, Mokanga project space uh, published the artist uh, Mokanga prints uh, by Pat Clark in Bend, Oregon. And uh, this uh, uh, title called Water Table. She has been uh, working with her art related with uh, water and the environmental issues with other artists. Here's Pat Clark who came to uh, Kura Moiranen's Mokhanka artist exhibition at the Shihan Gallery. And this is another artist work by uh, Donald Grosskost from New York. He is uh, worked his image with Sumi ink and brush. And uh, Kitamura uh, Sensei transferred to the kind of a process of uh, Mokahanga with all Sumi using or some ink. And I think some of you can really see how his kind of, uh, you know, demonstration on his printing. And he'll be, of course, uh, presenting this uh, uh, at this conference. So uh, you should, well, you have an opportunity uh, both to uh, hear him talk about it and then to see his work. In 2018, uh, we convinced Tula Moilinen to join us from Finland uh, for, I must say, a playful and highly inspiring workshop. In conjunction uh, with uh, um, uh, her presence on our campus, um, there was an exhibit uh, that we did at the Sheehan Gallery at Whitman called Hooves on the Move. And um, in addition um, to this wonderful exhibit that we had, um, one of the board members of our organization convinced a cellist um, in the Washington DC Kennedy Center Opera Orchestra to give a performance in the gallery with Tula's work. It was a stunning summer event in Walla Walla. Um, and the other thing that we've been doing uh, uh, at all of our workshops is to have a one evening where we would open up um, this workshop 
to the Walla Walla community and especially children. And um, uh, in this, uh, uh, in 2018, um, uh, Tula's enthusiasm was especially on display uh, with the children who came uh, and just loved the way in which she introduced the Mokohanga technique to them. This is that Tuesday, November 19th, uh, we invited uh, Mokanga um, artist, Ralph Kigo, and he kind of uh, introduced uh, our Mokanga participant. Something, it's a very innovative new way to create the printing blocks. Uh, by using zigzag saw. This is, a, uh, he is a kind of showing the sample of his work with uh, his method. And here is, of course, um, here he is with his jigsaw. Uh, and uh, he really, and not only did he enjoy it, uh, but he tried to uh, infuse that enthusiasm to everyone who joined. And without doubt, people left the workshop saying, this was a jigsaw uh, a lesson. Uh, and so it was, I think, a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, but more importantly, too, um, uh, Ralph was wonderful because uh, uh, this was an advanced workshop. And there were several people who wanted to participate, but they didn't have a, a beginning um, uh, workshop uh, to attend, or they wanted to, but they couldn't. And so uh, Ralph was able to come early and uh, teach an intensive beginning workshop before the um, uh, uh, scheduled workshop. Um, and so uh, we're very grateful for uh, what he did. Um, this uh, was also the year in which um, uh, we uh, curated uh, at the Foundry uh, an exhibit of nine international Mokuhanga artists, um, and we called it Breaking Mokuhanga Boundaries. And finally, we want to uh, thank very much Ralph, not only for coming to Whitman, uh, but for coordinating uh, this uh, international conference. We also want to say that with the support of our board of directors and our advisory committee, Keiko and I will continue dreaming and we plan to sponsor another workshop in June 2022 with Kitamura Sensei. And this time Kitamura Sensei will bring with him his family and we want to welcome them. We have also started to dream about an expanded program in 2023 that will serve as a wellspring for multiple visions of water in our world. We want to excite Mokuhanga artists, environmental scientists, leaders of native cultural institutes, students of all ages, and the community of Walla Walla, the land of many bisecting waters, to discuss, promote, encourage, collaborative art projects, innovative exhibits, and educational forums. We welcome you. Yes, we welcome you to join us in this dream. Thank you.